Well, this is my seventh video now, and I know what you must all be thinking. Show me the Monet. So without any further ado, this is Impression Sunrise. Painted in 1872 by Claude Monet, the story of Impression Sunrise is, quite literally, the story of the famous Impressionist movement. The more observant of you may have even noticed the slight similarity in the names, and that's not a coincidence. Monet had wanted to be an artist from a young age, and his mother encouraged him. Unfortunately, she died when he was just 16, and his father was a tad less supportive. So much so that when Claude was conscripted into the French army, his father could easily have paid to buy him out of it, but would only do so if his son gave up his dreams of becoming an artist. Claude refused, but at least it was only the French army, so he could always just run away at the first sign of danger. After helping him leave the army, Claude's aunt insisted he get a proper education in art, so he went to study in Paris. The French art scene at the time was notoriously stuck up, and everything revolved around the Salon de Paris, which was controlled by a panel of judges from the Academy des Beaux-Arts, who would decide which artworks were worthy or unworthy to be displayed each year. These judges had very defined notions of art, and meticulously finished paintings depicting historical or religious scenes with traditional compositions were highly rated. Monet did manage to get some artwork displayed at the Salon, but was generally against their narrow ideals and started hanging around with other like-minded artists. Because if there's one thing the French do better than running away, it's rebel. On 27th of December 1873, they formed their own group, called the Anonymous Society of Artists, Painters, Sculptors, Engravers, etc. I'm afraid I do have a bit of an issue with that name. For starters, they've made a load of spelling mistakes in there. And you've got some of the words in the wrong order. Proper amateur hour stuff going on here. Also, I think it's a bit of overkill, really. Surely most of these things are subsets of artists, so we can get rid of most of this stuff here anyway. Another thing is, they weren't particularly anonymous either. The first exhibition featured artworks by, among others, Claude Monet, Pierre-Auguste Renoir, Paul Cézanne and Edgar Degas, who, as some of the most famous artists in history, are about as far from anonymous as it gets. They even sold catalogues saying which pieces were by who, which is literally the complete opposite of what anonymity is. So when you boil it down, what they really were was a society of artists who everybody knows exactly who they bloody well are, etc. These artists often painted scenes of day-to-day -day life, with no historical context, and they liked to paint quickly and preferably outdoors, which led to these bright, natural paintings with loose, visible brushstrokes, and less attention to detail compared to the more technically proficient but more sterile works in the salon. The group held their first exhibition in April 1874, and Monet entered this painting. Since then, art historians have debated whether the painting depicts a sunrise or a sunset, and whether it was painted in 1872 or 73. In 2014, after extensively studying tides, weather reports, historical photographs, maps and celestial trajectories, and cross-referencing all that with the fact that we know that Monet painted this in his hotel room in Le Havre, they did finally deduct that it was, in fact, painted at sunrise in 1872. If only Monet had have left us some sort of clues. Apparently though, the name was given without much thought. When Monet was asked what the painting was called for the catalogue, he came up with the name pretty much on the spot. Some people believe he may have used the name Impression in an attempt to avoid criticism from the stuck-up art crowd. Spoiler alert, it didn't work. The reviews of the show were generally scathing, with Monet's painting one of those singled out. One famous review by Louis Leroy said of it, Le Pepe in its most embryonic state is more finished than this seascape. Don't know who Louis used the decorator, but based on the fact that some of Monet's works have sold for upwards of $100 million, I bet he charged a fair bit. The group were described as a bunch of five or six lunatics and a woman. That's right, this bunch of degenerates even let a woman have a go. In fact, more than one. Bette Morisot was a founding member, and the one referenced in that particular review. Also, Mary Cassatt and Marie Brackmon both displayed work at the exhibitions as well, at a time when women weren't always given fair treatment. 
But at least that's completely different these days, isn't it? The term Impressionist started off being used as an insult for the group, mocking them by using Monet's own words against them. They kind of liked it and they started using it to refer to themselves as well. Which I imagine must have massively pissed off Louis Leroy. Probably almost as much as the fact that almost his entire Wikipedia entry is about that one article and how badly it backfired. Also the fact he managed to die on his birthday and it was New Year's Day as well. The Impressionist movement was relatively short-lived and only really lasted 20 or 30 years, arguably even less, as later in their careers most of the main artists involved styles had progressed and diverged in different ways. But still it's considered to have produced some of the most recognisable and critically acclaimed artworks in the world. I think that says a lot about what can be achieved by a few friends doing what they liked rather than what they were told. Thanks for watching my video, I upload a new one on the second Sunday of every month. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe and leave me a comment if there's any other stories you'd like me to cover. See you next month.